is, uh, this is it. This is what it all came down to. So, uh, just in a couple hours, uh, we're going to do a uh, cutting the line ceremony, and uh, we're going to get out of here. And uh, we've got a good weather window. We're hoping to stay out the entire time and make this trip in, in one continuous uh, fluid motion. Um, but you know, if anything happens or uh, the weather gets bad, we'll go ahead and pull in. But the plan is to stay out. So it's, uh, it's real early. Get moving here soon. All right, here we are, day of the departure. Got everybody down here for blessing of the fleet. And shortly, we'll all be getting out of here. So good <laughs> luck to everybody. <laughs> it doesn't sound much like a party, come on. All right, all right, is this good, James? You're looking great. Okay. All right, so we're here this morning to uh, honor the gods of the winds and the seas and ask for their benevolence upon the Coho fleet for their journey. And we'll start with the, uh, the gods of the winds. So, the north wind. Great Boreas, exalter ruler of the north wind, grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your frigid breath. And then I need to... Whoop. <laughs> Splash a little wine in, in the, the north. north direction. <laughs> I will try not to get on any boat. Right. <laughs> All right. Reload for the west wind. <laughs> All right. Great Zephyrus, exalted ruler of the west wind, grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your wild breath. Exalted ruler of the south wind, grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your scalding breath. <laughs> and let oops. Nope. And lastly, great Eris, exalted ruler of the east wind, grant us permission to use your mighty powers in the pursuit of our lawful endeavors, ever sparing us the overwhelming scourge of your mighty breath. East is generally that way. <laughs> o mighty rulers of the winds, through whose powers our frail vessels traverse the wild and faceless deep, we implore you to grant these worthy vessels of the Coho fleet the benefits and pleasures of your bounty, ensuring us your gentle ministrations according to our needs. Now on to the big guys, Aeolus and Neptune. Aeolus whose mighty hand doth charge the wind, to these vessels gentle zephyrs send, and we who sail within will bend our heads in awe and tribute without end. With breath from high that maketh heaven's breeze to cause we sailors joy or fear upon the seas, we call upon you, Aeolus, please, grant these ships and their mortals ease. To Aeolus. <laughs> and finally, O Neptune, you spirit god of waters, great and small, on these vessels, by your grace, allow these sons and daughters all to pass from port of hailing to their port of call, and on these sailing subjects make your gentle blessings fall. You who cause the seas to rage or lie in sweet repose, please list to we mariners here, your servants of the flows. These ships, these captains, crew, and all who love the wind and seas will follow where thee goes to Neptune. bring good luck upon the fleet and everyone will have a wonderful voyage <clears throat> so now as you're heading out go ahead and get your boats ready to go when you want to go and uh, we'll walk around with our our horns and uh, <laughs> you can use some of the the donated line and we can uh, do some sacrificial dock lines and we can all yell and scream and honk horns as you back out of your slips <laughs> <laughs> right, all right. All right. Yeah. thank you who's right. first thank you. fair winds and following seas you guys Stay rested, watch the weather, and have fun. Yeah. Yep. Ready? Got it. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Just let her drop. Now we test how sharp people's knives are. <laughs> <laughs> 
So here it is, 8 p.m. and it's uh, first official night watch, and I'm starting it off. Uh, the sun has just set, just right over here on the hill. We're still in the street of Juan de Fuca, and uh, we've all been having a pretty miserable time. It's rocking and rolling out here. We tried sailing, uh, but really, it's just we got the motor kicked on, and we're just trying to get through it. And uh, right now, the current's coming in, so it's not helping us out. But uh, I think it's going to be a long night, a long sleepless night. And, um, I don't know, it's kind of a rough start to things, but you know, hopefully by tomorrow things will start leveling out and be a little bit better for us. And uh, just one good way to start off the uh, co ho ho, I suppose. So I got three hours on my shift, and then uh, I got to go wake Tanya up. She might still already be up. And uh, she takes the next watch, so. Anyway, uh, just gonna sit back and motor on through here and hopefully we can get some speed. We're doing only two and a half knots of speed over ground right now, so it's just super painful. But hopefully we'll get our break here soon. We'll see. Okay, here we are at day two, and uh, it has been a rough one. We've been motoring the whole time and just now at 10 a.m. on day two we got the sails up. Uh, so it's nice to be finally sailing. I think we finally found the wind. How many miles offshore would you say we are by now? 27? So we're, still we're about 30. 30? 27 to 30 miles offshore. Uh, we're trying to get roughly 100 miles offshore but um, hey at least we got the sails up so that's nice. Uh, the sea state seems to have calmed down a little bit and uh, I know I'm feeling better. I don't know about how everybody else is feeling. Yes, yeah, better. Skulls are at least farther between each other. It's still enough to make it queasy if you're not used to it. Yep. Got some coffee. And here's a super champ over here. Have you felt sick at all yet? No, I'm a little tired. No. I've been sick. I was sick last night. <laughs> <laughs> you can show me out of here. He's doing it. He's a champ, though. <laughs> he he, he's been a yeah, champ. I was hating it yesterday. Coming out the straight, it was pretty gnarly. <laughs> it was. It's, it's coming around. It, it, that will get the best of us. I mean, as long as you see. Yeah, Joel's feeling just fine. Tanya's feeling just fine. Todd's feeling fine. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It'll get the worst of us, I guess. <laughs> well, I think we're all still having a good time. All a bit tired. Get rest when you can kind of deal.
not gonna lie these waves will wear on a person just got some top ramen down I haven't vomited yet so that's good and actually laying down is, is kind of quite nice but you know here we are uh, I think it's about 2 p.m. sales are up we're actually making about five and a half knots so it's really good there's a few people doing just fine and a few people who aren't but it's uh, it can really grind on you and make a, a long day out of things so before night comes I think I'm just gonna try to relax a little bit here in the punk get some rest if I can What time is my shift? I think I'm on at on midnight tonight, I think. So that'll be here before I know it. This patch right here. You can see it it's giving me cotton mouth. But I think it's saving me from actually vomiting. So that just little bit stacking the cards in my favor. But I still just don't have an appetite. I feel like my head real bad. So it's tough to get comfortable anywhere when the boat's just constantly rocking every which way. Hopefully here, maybe another day, things will start to calm down. We can get on a nice easy tack. That's my hopes anyway. Alright, I'm trying to get some sleep. seven knots. Uh, we got uh, some decent wind out here and just beam reaching along out here in the ocean. We're about 80 miles offshore right now and uh, it's still just really rolly, really rough and uh, it really takes it out of you. I think everybody's super exhausted. It makes everything so hard to do. Just walking around on the boat seems dangerous. But, uh, I didn't have much of an appetite today. Hopefully tomorrow will be a better day for me. Let's go crawl down to the bunk when my shift is over and try to get some sleep. New day tomorrow. So we should be uh, entering the Oregon coastline probably sometime tonight. Especially at these speeds. We're making pretty good speed, so that's good. So we'll just keep on trucking. cow dead whale I wonder why those starters be on the big Smell it? No? spawning some dolphins so that's a lot of fun but, uh, long ways to go we're now officially on the Oregon coast and roughly about 100 miles out so we're way out here the swells have increased big time
If you'd like to follow along with us and other members of the Coho Fleet, just log on to CohoPoho.com and look for the fleet tracker. Once selected, you will find the entire fleet. Scan down and select Stella J and voila! got the dolphins. We got the white spot on the back. Here we are, five days out at sea. It's the uh, morning of the fifth day. I think it's Thursday. <laughs> kind of strange, you lose track of days while you're out here. Oh man, it's, uh, it's been pretty relentless out here. I think as far as my expectations on how this would go, we're pretty par for the course. Uh, no real surprises, I guess, other than just uh, I didn't really expect to be hammered so long and so hard with these relentless waves. It's just, it never gives up. Uh, it makes sleeping just almost impossible. And uh, it makes doing anything on the boat damn near impossible as well. And after five days, it's really starting to wear on me. But we're, uh, we did a really good day yesterday. Uh, in 24 hours, we did 155 nautical miles. Um, I haven't gotten out of bed yet. I had a late shift last night, and um, I was just so tired that uh, I don't think anything was going to stop me from getting some sleep. So I just woke up. I'm looking a little haggard because I am haggard. And uh, I thought my seasickness was kind of behind me. But um, as soon as I start moving around, I start to feel seasick again. I'm okay laying down, which is strange, but just when I start moving around, I, uh, I just don't feel good. But uh, we're kind of getting ready to make our final uh, jibe and uh, make our approach into San Francisco. Still a couple days out, but um, we're I think we're probably between 130 and 140 nautical miles offshore right now. And um, the weather does predict uh, for a, uh, a relief of some sort. Probably within the next 12 hours, I think things will start settling down and um, we can finally get comfortable again. But, I mean, right now we're just getting tossed around and I'm just kind of afraid to get up just, just to face the music, you know? But uh, we're, we're getting there and um, 
just got to dig deep at this point and uh, it'll happen it'll happen soon so all right i think i'm gonna get up and go we'll see what's going on there we go oh it's tough to even keep the camera steady in this stuff just Hank and I up here right now. I think exhaustion is setting in pretty good for everybody today. It's been a real quiet day. A little rough one, a little rolly. Spin you around here. Show you where we're at. So we're kind of on our final stretch here, but uh, I'm not too sure if we're gonna be able to continue this tack. We might have to jibe one more time, get a little distance between us and the shoreline. Day six, and I pulled the morning shift. I was hoping I'd get a nice, nice view of the sunrise, but uh, we got a pretty heavy cloud cover this morning, so it doesn't look like I'll be getting the view I wanted. Been hanging out here, listening to some tunes, just kind of enjoying the, uh, the time alone. Sure, better than nighttime when you can't see anything. Uh, we're about 80 miles offshore now. Uh, probably about 300 more miles to go, so a couple more days. But uh, we're making good time. Uh, we're still getting some uh, some of these waves that uh, we frequently surf, picking our speed up to seven, eight, and nine knots at times. So uh, that, that's pretty nice, giving us that extra little boost. But uh, I think the seas have calmed down a little bit. They sound a little, a little angry, but I think there is some improvement there. We still got double reef in the main and uh, just partial uh, jib out right now. We'll see how today goes and see if we can let some of that out and increase our speed. And I'm not exactly sure. We'll see what happens. But. All right, here it is, morning day seven. Been out at sea for quite a while now, I'm kind of forgetting what land life is like. Uh, I think I got my sea legs by now. I'm pretty sure the ocean tried to kill us last night. Uh, it was probably as bad as we've ever seen it. And uh, we're about 100 miles out of San Francisco. And um, it's pretty rough. It's cold. It's getting a little foggy. Uh, but hopefully we'll find an anchorage at some point tonight and uh, go under the Golden Gate in the morning. But, uh, yeah, despite everything, I was actually able to uh, get some sleep last night. Uh, the boat is just a mess. There's stuff thrown about everywhere. And um, there's not much we can do about it while we're rocking around. It's just so difficult to even stand in here. But uh, I think everybody's keeping good spirits. And like I said, you know, hopefully we'll get somewhere a little more comfortable tonight. We'll drop anchor and get some sleep. And in the morning, we'll, uh, we'll make our way into San Francisco Bay. So. Uh, hopefully everything goes as planned. Uh, the boat's holding up well. Uh, last night it uh, sounded like she was going to break in two. I'm telling you, it was nasty. But uh, we made it. The the boat's a uh, good, solid boat. I'm, I'm real proud of her. And um, we'll just finish up here real soon. So it'll be nice to get back to land.
Okay, here we go, we're rolling. 996 miles, seven days out at sea, from Blaine to San Francisco. We did it, guys. <laughs> what a ride it was.